Hey guys, welcome to another Top 10 list. Welcome to my Top 10 Best Changes in the Harry Potter movies. Yes, uh, months and months ago I did the worst things that were in the Harry Potter movies. Like changes they made from the books and they put into the movies and I just didn't like those changes. I'm going to talk about the positive changes because I love the movies. I love the Harry Potter films. I think the films are just so good and they really capture the magic of what J.K. Rowling's books did. But there are things that the movies did differently from the books. I did the list of those changes that I hated. Now I'm going to talk about the changes that I liked. These are changes that are different from the books, but I just think they're better in the films than they are in the books. So here are the top 10 best changes in the Harry Potter movies. There's no particular order. I'm just going to just say number one, number two. You know, like, there's no order for this. So first thing I'm going to say is Severus Snape. Alan Rickman as Severus Snape is the best casting that they could have done. He's amazing. He owns this fucking role. I like that they made Severus Snape a, like, a more of a hero. In the books, he's a piece of shit. He's a bully. He's, he's just, he's basically a snake. And he basically just does things for his own selfish reason. And even in the book, like, he only wants to save Lily. He doesn't give a shit if James and Harry die. But in the movies, he does care. He does care for Harry. He's trying to protect him. They make Snape a more human character in the movies than he is in the books. In the books, he's a bully, and he's kind of just a piece of shit. Yeah, they kind of give him redemption at the end, but it's not quite earned. In the movies, he's only a bit of a dick, but he's still got a lot of heroic moments. In the Prisoner of Azkaban, he's like protecting the kids from Lupin, and... Again, like, he tries to help Harry in the Order of the Phoenix, and, again, you see him play this triple agent with Dumbledore. He's just so much of an enjoyable and great character in the films. The films made Snape one of the best characters. That's solely based because of the films. And Alan Rickman's amazing performance, so that was one of the best changes the movies did. Um, the next change I like, number two, is Hedwig saving Harry's life. They just kind of kill Hedwig in a stupid way in the books, but in the movies, Harry is being followed by the Death Eaters when he's riding the motorbike with Hagrid, and Hedwig flies, and a Death Eater does the killing curse and kills Hedwig, because Hedwig is trying to protect Harry, and it is so sad and tragic, and just, you feel empty when you read about it in the books, because it's just so random, but in the movies, Hedwig's trying to save Harry, it's just, it's such a heart breaking scene and just Harry seeing Hedwig fall down and just seeing his pet and the bird that he's always loved since his first year just die in front of him oh it's heartbreaking and the films do a very good job at that scene uh the third thing is Harry breaking the elder wand keeping the elder wand or doing something else to the elder wand is stupid so the fact that they address it right away in the movies and Harry rightfully won the wand from Draco Malfoy at Malfoy Manor. And Harry just breaks it because he knows no wizard or witch should have this much power. And he just breaks it and throws it off the edge. It's the best way to do it because keeping the Elder Wand is horrible. And the fact that the movies, they just say, fuck it, breaks it, and that's it. I'm like, perfect. That's like the best way to do it. No more wand. <laughs> Uh, number four is Slughorn telling Harry about his mother. This is a great scene when, before Slughorn gives Harry his memories about Tom Riddle, he talks about Lily and how much Lily meant to him, that she was such a sweet, very sweet girl, and she gave him a gift when he was feeling sad, and he knew right away, even though she was a muggle-born, that she was one of the most special witches. It's such a beautiful scene, and then Harry says to Slughorn, to pretty much give him the memories and do it for his mother. Do it for Lily. Do it for the student that you knew didn't deserve to die. And do it for the good. And do it for all the people who've suffered for Voldemort. Be brave, Harry says. It's such a beautiful moment. The way Harry, the way Daniel Radcliffe and Jim Broadbent act in this scene is such a beautiful scene. And I wish Half-Blood Prince had more amazing scenes like this. The whole third act of Half-Blood Prince is amazing, and this is part of the third act. And love the scene. Such a great scene. <laughs> Number five. It's a very simple scene. It's this. Why are you wearing glasses? 
Uh, um, reading. Reading? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> it's not in the books, but I love it. I, apparently, um, Tom Felton just improvised that scene and that line. It's, it makes me laugh every time. That, that's it. Just, I love it. It's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> It didn't need to be in the movie, but I'm glad it is. It's fucking hilarious. And number six is another quick one. Tell them I need no home! I'm sorry, Professor. I must not tell lies. What are you doing? See, Dolores Umbridge putting I must not tell lies on people's hands. That is in the books. But when Dolores gets taken away, uh, Harry doesn't... I don't think he says anything in the books, and she just gets taken away. But in the movies... She's like, tell them I mean no harm. And Harry says to her, sorry, Professor, I must not tell lies. It is such a great comeback. And the fact that he says it again in Deathly Hallows Part 1, love it. Just his great comeback at Dolores Umbridge. It's, it's great. It's, it's so good. <laughs> um, number seven is Harry and Hermione dancing. I love this scene. I even talked about this. My favorite scenes in Harry Potter. I love this scene. It's it, it's again not in the books, and it's only like a one a minute and a half scene, and Harry and Hermione are just in the just the darkest of dark times. Ron is gone. He abandoned them. They're constantly listening to the radio of all these witches and wizards that are getting killed by Death Eaters. And Hermione is just feeling so low and sad and just she almost wants to give up. And for only about a minute, Harry makes her smile. He takes her mind away from all the horrible things that's happening. And they just dance to uh, the Nick Cave song, Oh Children. It's such a touching scene. Some people say it's a romantic scene. It's not. It's a beautiful scene about friends trying to make lively of the most darkest of times. And I love it. Absolutely love that scene. And I'm glad they put it in the movies. It's great. <laughs> uh, number eight, raising their wands for Dumbledore. When Dumbledore dies in the Half-Blood Prince, there's just a very quick little scene when they all find out Dumbledore's dead and every witch and wizard raise their wands in the air out of respect and salute for the headmaster. That's not in the books. I wish it was because it's just a great scene to showing how much... Dumbledore meant to everybody there at that school of Hogwarts. So good. Number nine, Sirius Black. Again, just like Snape. Gary Oldman, amazing, amazing as Sirius Black. So fucking good. They make him so much more likable. In the books, in Prisoner of Azkaban, it's about the same. But in, like, Goblet of Fire and Order of the Phoenix, they make him such an asshole in the books like he they make him almost kind of like a rock star and he like he always tells harry to like stop crying be a man and grow up and stuff he gives him like the shittiest advice ever and i i i, I almost don't even like Sirius black in the books but i love him in the movies i like that they make him a mentor to harry almost a father figure he's trying to be that father that harry never could have and stuff like the scene when he sees him in Order of the Phoenix and he gives him a big hug is a great scene. And the, another scene, or all the scenes in Order of the Phoenix with Sirius, uh, Sirius Black is one of my favorite, all my favorite scenes. Like when he says to Harry, he's like, you're not a bad person, Harry. You're just a person that bad things have happened to. And it's such a, oh, it's a great moment. It's a great scene. It's better than the books where he has no idea what to say to Harry and stuff. And oh my God, I love it. Absolutely love it. And like, even in the Heart of the Phoenix, when he calls Harry, nice one, James. Just there's so many beautiful moments with Harry and Sirius. I wish there was more moments with Harry and Sirius Black in Order of the Phoenix. Because their relationship is just fantastic. And Gary Oldman just knocks it out of the park. And I love it. I love it. They, they did Sirius Black so much better in the movies than in the books. And lastly is cutting the runtime of Order of the Phoenix. You know, I used to have an issue with it. When Order of the Phoenix came out, I hated Order of the Phoenix because they, they cut so much out of the books from the movies. And I, it always pissed me off. Now, just after time of thinking about it, it's probably the smartest decision they did because I reread the books last year. And Order of the Phoenix is 
one of the weakest books because it fucking drags. There's so many scenes that are just not needed and just there's 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 moments that go nowhere and they focus on things that they should be focusing on. And I love that in Order of the Phoenix movie, they cut all of that out. They're just like, we're just showing the important stuff. Dumbledore's army, the Order of the Phoenix, Voldemort coming back, Sirius Black dying, all the good stuff and the dark stuff and the stuff that matters and the crazy shit with Dolores Umbridge. Like all the stuff from Order of the Phoenix that matters, they put in the movies that actually... I think one of the things is probably one of the better movies now. I was that was the weakest because it just cut so much out from the book. And I thought it was just disrespectful to do that to the book. But when you realize the book is very flawed and it's too long and it needs to be trimmed, the fact that the movie did that, respect to the movie. So good job. <laughs> good job, David Yates. So yeah, those are the 10 best changes, in my opinion, that Harry Potter films did. That were different from the books so let me know in the comment section below what do you think are the best changes in the harry potter books uh, no harry potter movies compared to the books comment below let me know and as always fights video please subscribe to this channel and join the duck side